Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Gui Gu Ba Huang Let's Play. So, between episodes, uh, a lot happened again, of course. We grinded, we have a new skill set. We are now officially a sword user. Uh, we have one skill for each, and I believe most of them are red quality, except for two of them. Our special and our movement are orange quality, or yellow, um, one tier below red. Not too bad, and in terms of masteries, this is all mastered, rerolled a bunch of times, a lot of red you see here. This one's not mastered yet, um, not entirely happy with this one, we might switch it up if I can find another one at the auction house, or if we can grind something else out, so not in a rush to get this, um, you know, fully mastered. Movements mastered, uh, rerolled a couple times, orange is the max, so you're not going to see any red here because the skill is orange. And then passive, we have one passive that is related uh, in our current tier and also related to sword. I need to get this one up. As a matter of fact, I should probably get this one up before what we're going to do next. We're going to do a tournament to join a new sect. Um, I probably want to reroll this if I can as well. This is a magical resistance. Uh, that one we will roll back, of course. And these two are the cool ones. This one is whenever there's only one enemies on the field, every 4.95 uh, seconds we'll get a stack of Jianzhan, which increase our damage against enemies below 50% health. And this one is anytime we pop bleed, and we pop bleed uh, with our special, we have 12.61% chance to get another stack of Jianzhan. So basically, the debuff and buff are both um, acquired through this passive, even though our basic attack doesn't give us Jianzhan. So this actually opens up doors to use different alts um, because usually you pick one of the two different type of buff and debuff within a style and then you're kind of stuck with the other one. So this is quite interesting. And then if we get it up higher, anytime we get seven stacks of bleed on the field, we recover uh, mana by two every second. So that's a really good way for us to get uh, mana back. And also at the start of any battle, um, there are three enemies that's going to get a stack of Liu Xue, uh, so bleed. So this all synergized quite well, um, definitely looking forward to getting this all the way up. We just need some time of course. Let's pick these up. And finally our ult. Our ult is actually kind of cool, but I th there's a weakness to it. So basically, you need to kill people who are currently bleeding. Once you kill them, you get a stack of a sword soul. And then once you kill eight people, at least you have eight stacks, you summon this uh, saint of swords. Basically it looks like an old guy. And he starts shooting out beams of swords out. And these swords, um, he will summon 165 swords. And each sword does 237 damage. So it takes a long time for the total damage output to happen because 165 swords takes a while to come out. But it's a ton of damage and uh, it hurts. But the problem is you can't use this in cultivator fights because you can never kill eight targets because there's only one on one. So there's still some issues with this. And obviously if you have, uh, well you need bleed, you need to kill people with bleed uh, to get this to happen. But our overall damage is, is quite nice so I don't really mind that. We can shred mobs and farm with just our basic right now. And uh, we're in this sect. So on the map, we were in this sect. Uh, we maxed out our sword, we maxed out our um, lightning build through that, and we also became an elder in the sect. I couldn't get to Grand Elder, but we got to Elder, so we bought, you know, the, the top tier alt ability. So I thought, you know, I did everything I could here, time to switch a sect, move us closer to the Eternal Ice Plains, which I explored a little bit, to pop out the locations that we need to go to for the next uh, tier up. Uh, and we also farmed quite a bit, leading us to like a new storyline for this part. Uh, still talking to the sect of unorthodox cult, uh, the, the people who has corruption on half of their body. And they told us that this mountain range that's dividing us, you know, the lands divided by this corrupted mountain range, can be moved if we talk to giants in the next zone. And the giants right here. We haven't gone there yet, they just lit it up for us. And that's the next main storyline. We haven't done that yet, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. We're going to join this sect here. It's called Fei Yan Gu. 
and it's a orthodox sect. Uh, mainly it's spear and fire, two things that we have not touched uh, since the beginning of the game. So I thought we would benefit quite a bit from picking up at least the fruits from it, if not some abilities, if it's cool. Um, it's going to take a lot of grinding to build us up to 350, which is the max. We're at 82, multiple years, think about that, but um, figure we might as well give it a shot. Beats staying on the same sect, so now we have to enter a tournament uh, to join. Uh, and it should be a piece of cake. I'm fairly confident in our build. I'm not even going to scout on enemies. We're just going to hit them with basic and uh, maybe a little bit of special to kill them. Look at our damage. Yeah. We're strong. There's also a big tournament uh, in the big town here in about three months. Uh, we're likely going to end the episode on that, where we'll be faced off with the strongest opponents in this zone. People who are one tier higher than us, and I think we have a shot of beating some of them. I tried it three years ago before I switched over to a full swords uh, set, and I got 13th place. We got knocked down in the second round, uh, but now with a full sword set, everything at current tier, I feel like we can definitely do well and maybe get some Dow point uh, fruits at the end. Okay, she's a little stronger. That's our special. Drops the sword and pops it out and uh, it does damage on both both parts. So this part does damage, that part does damage, so if you hit people in this area pretty much. It looks cool. It doesn't hurt that much. But there's a lot of cooldown buffs on it, I think, so actually, you know, we get a backup quite often. I fully expect to get first here. Oh, and for the big tournament, the person we lost to ended up being the champion, so... I feel like even though we got 13, we could have gone far if the matchup didn't end up being that way. And our movements like this, we're on a sword, we're faster, and we get a lot of defensive bonuses as well on the sword, like damage reduction. Just to showcase a little bit of our build. You won't be able to see the ult unless we fight mobs, just because we can't kill 8 targets in one fight. Alright, you're the last guy. How strong are you? Yuan Ying Hou Qi. Okay, so, um, same tier as us. And we're really fast on the sword, so we can dodge a lot of things just with speed. And uh, we kill. There we go. And we have joined the sect as the top ranking outer disciple. Get some points, and we want to rank up as soon as possible. Now, we don't have any tribute point aside from the 500 we got. Um, we're going to pick up a bunch of missions. We can showcase one of them just to kind of show you guys the alt. Um, this is instant delivery. Let's see what they have. I'm probably not going to buy any of these. We're just going to take a look at these. So, okay. Broke. It's like breaking the armor. I guess sundering might be a good translation for that. Um,. It's obviously an effect given through spear abilities. Okay, it's very similar to our current ult, where if you kill enemies with Pozia, you get a dragon spirit, and once you have six dragon spirit, you summon it, and it will summon the dragon soul that will launch 153 spears across the field, and it will deal 279 damage. Very similar to ours. Uh, the fire one is anything that can produce burn. And if they die, you get a stack of Fire God. Once you have four stack of Fire God, you have the ability to summon a Flaming Phoenix that will fly across the field, uh, shooting fire beams onto the ground, leaving a row of fire that's 284 width, and that will deal 762 seconds of fire damage when they stand on it. And this fire will last 300 seconds. Okay. So it's summoning a Phoenix to burn the ground. Kind of interesting. I'm interested in getting to an elemental uh, style in the future, so maybe we'll look into that. But first, for us to do anything, we need to buy these. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. We're going to try to buy everything eventually. 
They are pricey. Uh, fruits, I think, are quite pricey. 180 each. Takes a lot of missions. Uh, speaking of a lot of missions, I might as well grab the other one as well. This one's uh, someone who has gone to the dark side. That doesn't count as a kill. Um, so we'll get a map and it'll tell us where to find him. It's supposedly very difficult, but I've been doing these and we're having a pretty easy time killing these guys. Okay, so over there, we should probably go to that town. Let's first kill a mob to kind of showcase our alt. Ooh, fruit delivery. Also some books. Now we might not be able to use the books because I'm getting very close to up. Ah, actually, that'd be perfect. Two books will get us exactly to 352. And that's max out. We have to go, oh, that one's ready maxed out. Lightning's ready over 350. We can sell that. Got a fire one. A finger one, okay. And then we'll sell that one. We have a lot of bad rings as well. Uh, basically, uh, the girl in the wood gives us a lot of, oh, Jingwei, it gives a lot of bad stuff. Uh, we get to pick up some items from a dead body. Mana recovery. Let's go. We absolutely shred people right now. Even even these guys. You see how we shredded that one? Like we didn't even have to use specials or anything like that. And the first icon you see next to the health is the sword soul that we need to get to 8 to use our ult. The second icon is Jianzhan, which gives us a boost of 2% damage uh, against enemies below 50% health. And we get stacks of that whenever we pop bleed, or whenever there's only one enemy on the field, even though none of our abilities actually give us that. We don't even need to use mana really or special, we just shred everyone and our ult is ready. So all you have to do is make sure you're facing them and then you just ult and here comes the sword saint and that's 165 swords coming out healing damage. Now it's not a lot of damage per sword and it doesn't hit a lot so I'm not too happy with it but um, it's okay. It's kind of cool looking. And we can't use it against other cultivators, so that's also a problem. Or big boss fights, that's one-on-one, -on -one, also a problem. We're going to try to fetch this glitter in the... And then there's a fish that came out and swallowed the glitter. Our mood went down. Might as well pick that up. We're moving toward the final bottleneck. We're at the final tier already. We can't get any stronger. Fortune teller, good luck, bad luck, bad luck. Not paying 50k to get rid of bad luck losing some health or mood or whatever will be okay pass that on and those are killing people or stealing stuff rather not do that we're gonna teleport over here let's first get to a town and sell some goodies it's actually quite dangerous to carry manuals with you people often come and try to steal these and then ends up getting you into fights we don't need that one anymore so either stash them or sell them. These ready to learn, this ready to learn. Oh no no no, that one I want to keep. That's how I actually get my mood back. These will sell. Yeah, money's not really difficult to have. Any chance you want to do a meditate with us? Thank you. And you now we've been stashing points, but more the merrier. As we upgrade all of these, usually there's like five default ones, like physical resistance, magical resistance, crit, uh, health, defense, attack. Well, that's actually six, at least six. Um, and each of them now costs around 200, 203, if we get the red version of our current tier. So we're really far away from maxing that out. That's why we want to enter the big tournament uh, in July, I believe. Let me get this done. And let's go search for the guy. 
introducing us to his good friend. Same thing. We have a hundred points of spear and we're a righteous one. All right, we also have our next tier sec uh, tournament soon too, but I need to scout and find where that evil guy is living. It's gonna be right there. Ooh, those are two really big points. Lots of herbs and lots, wow, 348, never seen this high. Usually 200 is pretty impressive. All right, let's go in. So this is supposedly six star difficulty. Where is he running off to? He flew away from us? He hasn't really approached us yet. What's he trying to do? Yeah, six star difficulty. But they do drop a lot of um, high tier soul stones. The manuals I really don't care about. If it's not red or orange, we don't really care. All right, we're gonna use that as well. Three, four, that's a lot. All right, we're gonna have to sell some stuff. And teleport back to our sect. Drop off our mission. Pays well, so we'll do it. A five star difficulty. Yeah, another map, another cultivator gone wrong. And we can test ourselves against a five star dungeon one. Uh, that one might actually be a bit more difficult. Yeah, we just joined sec to buy their fruits. That's pretty much our goal. We might even switch another sec before we switch zones. Now, what's the advantage of getting all these talents? Uh, better resistance against that type of damage. And also the average of your overall talent determines a lot of your passive abilities. Um, some of the passive are not related to a certain talent, so they take the average of your numbers. Hmm, right. So we have a level five dungeon apparently nearby. We'll go do that. Someone trying to steal our money. Now, who is it? Oh, it's a girl. She kind of like us. Huashen Houqi, one full tier higher than us. So we let her go. 4,000 is chump change. Fighting her and getting killed? Not good. Dunmo. We don't need Dunmo anymore. I think the only one we need is herb, actually. We need two more herb. All right, let's see how this five-star dungeon bears against us. Yeah, we still shred mobs with like one or two hits, and just maybe we need to use that against these guys. Maybe. Questionable. We do give good rewards. We do need a lot of... Um, the soul stone to gain mastery points for new abilities learned. Okay, they are tankier than normal. But we still kill them relatively fast, as you see. So I have to say, the build does make grinding a lot more, you know, easier at least. Like, grinding with the uh, the, the finger style earlier was just so painful. It took so long. This at least we're shredding through things. The alt though, I'm really not happy with. That's like the secret manual we bought from our former sect. It, it's not that good. Like here, let's use it. And we do shoot out a bunch, but you see most of them don't hit the target that we want to hit and uh, takes a long time to DPS, whereas our finger one, instant, it touches the enemy, it pops them. So there, there's definitely a difference there.
Yeah, let's just do the harder ones. Harder ones give us more reward. And obviously we're converting everything into these fruits. Now, is there a way to buy fruits? There is a way to buy fruits uh, where we don't have to be in the sect. It costs money and it costs a lot of money. You just have to maintain friends within the sect and they will let you visit the buildings and you can buy it with money. Um, it's, it's not ideal. Like I can, if I can just join a sect, I, I feel like I might as well gain access to this, um, especially these, if it's good. If the fire one, I'm curious about. Maybe we'll end up doing it. If we see some orange ones on sale, I might snatch that. If we see some uh, fire one during the auction house, I might snatch that. So we're about to have a tournament here next month and also a tournament in the big town next month. Okay. Hmm. What do we do for the rest of the month? I think we hunt down that evil cultivator. Those guys are at least a little bit challenging. And this one's actually close, so... He's like right here. We have to scan him out. There we go. Oh, another sword user. We should have really high resistance against sword user. Oh, I got that too. Two can play this game. Okay, I should go to the big town tournament first. Because that one, I think you have to be kind of the, be there on the first. You can't be late. What is a grave site? Do we want to lose a couple years of our actual life to... Uh, Pop the gravesite. Okay, there's no big monster there. We're getting close. Yeah, let's just finish this up real quick. Some vultures above, decreasing our mood. I think our mood is actually a little bit low. Ah, it's 20 point less. Let's use this. Something that we don't need. It will give us 20. It's something that's not our interest. If it's our interest, it'll be 80. But we just need 20, so... We could have sold it for 500, but 500 really means nothing at this point. We're gonna go straight for the boss instead of going looping around. We're gonna alt right in her face to make sure all the swords hit her. Could they spread out after a while? And there we go. It still takes a while too long in my opinion. The finger style is just like instant gratification. Alright, we're also gonna grab this just so that we have it. We bought everything this year already. Time to teleport away. Going to the big town for the big tournament. Hopefully we do well. This is the one. We have a f one day left. Uh, let's just walk around until the day is up. There we go. Oh, he wants a manual. A blue one. Yeah. Yeah, give it to him. Someone wants a date? Sure. We've been dating quite a while. Haven't been showing us all the dates. Alright, two tournament, one in our sec, one over here. I'll go to this one first. We're ready to go. Only five people participating? Wow, usually usually like tons of people here. He wants to let us forfeit by giving us these items, and they are absolute trash, so no. He's one tier higher, he also hates us now because we didn't accept that. I mean, because he tried to bribe us. Oh my god, he's a fire user. Ow, 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 it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Yeah, we don't do enough damage. That's not good. We're in our flower mode. We're getting shredded. Yeah. People higher tier than us.
Ah, oh, it's such a shame too. There's five participants, so top four gets fruits, and we just had to beat one. We just had to be the lucky one there. Watch him go win the whole thing. They just give us. Oh no, she didn't win. She's even stronger. Wow. There's us. There's them. Oh, each one gets 35 Dao points. So once we get strong enough, 70 times 3. Two t oh, 210 points each time. Huashen Chuqi. Yeah, they're all higher tier than us. Huashen Chuqi. Huashen Chuqi. Huashen Chuqi. Wait, didn't she try to rob us? I remember this dress. Maybe she she's the one who robbed us of the manual. Speaking of the manual being robbed, we gotta sell the ones we have. So we're not a target. If any of them were weaker than us, we could also steal the thing they got from them. But, um... They're all stronger than us. We can't really mess with them. Well, we still have one tournament that I think we can win. Our sec tournament. We become an inner disciple. Ah, oh, much easier. <laughs> Gonna get the buy. We got the buy. Okay. Nah, same tier as us, so they have no chance. I mean, I'm confident we have better masteries and rerolls and all that good stuff. Gonna kite away from her. Oh, spear user. Okay, kited her all day there. There we go, and uh, we'll keep going here. It's moving up in the sect. I think we'll get stuck at Elder again. Um, basically, there's too many people in Huashan in this area. They're just stalling us from advancing. We take. Uh, we can't pick up that one until we finish the other one. Wait, what is this mission? Wait, what mission do we have selected? Why is it asking us to go so far? Ah, the date. Write the date. Let's end on the date then. She asked. We barely know her, so this is our chance to get to know her. She's in the same tier as we are, I believe. Renying, I saw. Now is our chance to get a new female partner. I wonder if she's going to agree to just dual meditate with me here. There we go. You saved 10 days, technically. And she probably wouldn't usually agree outside given our current status. You just don't want to do it late because there's exhaustions and stuff like that. Uh, this is my best item right now. Does this cut it for you? Okay. I want to check to see how much her happiness changed. Okay, so we got two hearts now. After this is probably two plus hearts. Now it's only two increase. Okay, come over here. Don't get stuck. Feed the fish. She's getting a little tired. I'm sure you don't mind a little bit of alcohol. We'll have a tea and then we'll have some go session and then we'll end our date and I'll show you guys how many uh, female friends we have she's trying to run away okay that's good enough I think we made ourselves a friend nice of them asking us out
Alrighty, so currently... Oh, that's our teacher, by the way. She doesn't like us. It's weird, because... I think the issue is like, this is how she feels about us. This is how we feel about her. The reason why we don't like her is because we've been telling people when they tell us, you know, she's bad. We, we say that too. So our relationship to her is bad, but she doesn't feel the same about us. Like we even dated and stuff. So um, that's weird. But here's our relationship. These are our friends. Uh, you can, this is the girl who initially started dating us, and then we have her, 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 and her. And there's probably others. And you can see some of these guys are really strong. The girl with the legs, Hua Shen already. Uh, Chuan Zhuang is also Hua Shen. She's also Hua Shen. We have a few guy friends from sect, from mock battles and such. Uh, she's also Hua Shen. We're falling behind. We have an enemy who's Hua Shen. I don't remember how we became enemies with him, but we're enemies. The first girl who tried to steal stuff from us, by the way, she's dead. She's been dead. Right? You can see her life stop at 38. Um, I don't know who killed her. It wasn't us, but she died. That's, that's the girl who got us on the path that we uh, did on the first province where we joined the good sect and learned um, saber techniques because she robbed us. She was from the, the unorthodox sect. That's kind of how things are. This is how they feel about us. This is how we feel about them. She really likes us, but she has a another partner. It's kind of weird. Uh, but anyways, we have a good relationship with most of them. See, they don't even care about us now. Like, I hate them, but he doesn't care about me, which is good because he's Hua Shen. I can't mess with that. Anyways, um, that's where things stand. I'm going to be grinding for more skills, obviously. Uh, I think there's always room for improvement. We have two orange ones. They could definitely go to red. And next time when we come back, uh, hopefully we'll be a little bit stronger and we'll be tackling each of the dungeons here in the Eternal Ice Plains and maybe covering some of the main quest line with the giants. I think we can, oh no, I wanna move to the giants to show you guys. This is a giant. He's in the Eternal Ice Plane. Apparently their race can help us move this corrupted mountain. So maybe that's who we gotta get help from. And you can get to them through this top here. Uh, explore most of them. So we can enter these mountains here, these valleys, and then do whatever mission is involved there. I think we're strong enough to do so. I don't know if we're strong enough to take on him. But each of these locations should give us a piece of the soul that's required to be added once we have all five. I think we take the stairway to heaven, or wherever that is, right here, and then we can do something here. I don't know what, um, and that can help us ascend. So that's the path we're on, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and see you all next time. Bye!